All right, welcome back. We uh, are on our factions playthrough. We finished up Vizuna Square Foreign Quarter. I am online currently. Like I've been getting messages. You're never online. I am online right now. It is in Korean time. It is June 8th. In the evening, almost 10 p.m. here. So I don't want to hear it. You're never on. I'm on. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Rant over. Anyway, uh, we ended up in this dragon's throat place, which is actually a challenge mission. <clears throat> Um, there's not really any reason to do it plot-wise. Whoa, it's really cool scenery here, though. It's nice. We're, like, in the underbelly of Kaining City, city, where the sewers flow directly into, like, a foresty-looking area. Uh, but yeah, you can, um, you can do a challenge mission here. Basically, you can do it for bragging rights, uh, for the daily best, monthly best, quarterly best. Some people take it pretty seriously. I mean, there's there's teams, there's people here running it. So uh, if that's your thing, you can always do this. Um, I'm really. We have any money? We have we have money for another another uh, skill. Let's pick one up. I have no idea what we should pick up though. funny one it gives energy to it gives energy to the enemy but it's like a really spammable interrupt that's interesting that skill is interrupted and target full gain six energy uh what should we use i could pick up some of these signets and then try and run a keystone signet build but i don't have enough money for that a lot of interrupt skills Disabled, replaced. Um, heals the enemy. This is a pretty nice one. Images of remorse. I think we'll add this to our build. 10 seconds. Target foe suffers minus 3 health. The djinn, if they're attacking, that foe takes 55 damage. Yeah, let's work this in. Um, we're still gonna... We didn't get to capture a, uh, elite last skill. Our last mission. Hopefully we get one this time. Uh, what did I just get? Images of Remorse. And we'll cast that... Instead of... Ether Feast. We're getting rid... We don't need two healing skills. I'll put that here. And I think instead of Ineptitude, I'm going to go back to my Fevered Dreams build. We're using a lot... We're going up against a lot of enemies that are vulnerable to conditions. So we got some hexes, fragility hexes. We got uh, condition spam. We can inflict deep wound. That's pretty good. Let's get our party up. Whoa, we have a lot of choices now. Holy cow. Let's get Chio because she's running um, Signet of Souls or Signet of Spirits, whatever that's called. Got our healer. I think we'll use Hanaku. I think he does more conditions. We need Sin for the energy region. Aiden for more conditions. And who else does some conditions? We use our... Another Mesmer. And last conditions person. Let's go with. Da, 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 da. Let's go with another. Oh no, Sin. She does immolate. Okay, we're good. All right. Uh, we're not gonna do the challenge. Instead, we're gonna go to the primary quest. That'll lead us to the next mission area. I hope. I haven't met. We get some gold from these quests. Quest. That's good. Uh, meet them in Shadow's Passage. I don't think these missions going into the next mission or these quests going leading to the next missions are anything that difficult, but I like to I like to plan ahead. I like to make sure I'm I'm strong enough. No surprises here. But we teamed up with Menlo and Togo together it seems. 
thugs and pickpockets. Yeah, we're going against Amfa gangsters. We're looking for the Oracle. The Oracle was in a cutscene that seemed to know. Um, oh no no yeah we we need to become the con we need to become the factions version of of ascended, which is called closer to stars closer to the stars. I imagine it's one of those like phrases that probably sounds really cool in a different language, but yeah, closer to the stars. I mean, it sounds pretty cool, I guess. Ooh, we got some armor to drop. I think this guy has Enraged Smash again. We could capture that, but honestly, I'm not going to be using it on this character. And I'm I'm too poor. <laughs> I'm too poor to be capturing random elite skills that I'm not going to use. So Fever Dreams is good because it spreads conditions really- Oh, I actually don't need Epidemic if I have Fever Dreams. Dang it, this is a wasted skill. Rud, just taking up space, look at it. I just talked about planning ahead. And I brought a wasted skill. Yeah, you don't need Epidemic if you're running Fever Dreams because this automatically spreads skill uh, conditions. And then it also inflicts dazed whenever they have two or more conditions. So. Uh, not very smart. I like Loshaw's armor. Can I get that armor? That looks pretty sweet. He looks kind of like a green lantern or something. Like a superhero outfit. So there's two kind of similar to the factions that have come up later. The Luxons and Kurziks. There's two, like, gangsters. The Amfa and the Jade Brotherhood. If I'm not mistaken, though, I don't think the Jade Brotherhood are really all that bad. Um, I'm not really sure lore-wise what they're all about. But I'm almost positive the Amfa are, like, they're pretty bad people. I think the Jade Brotherhood are kind of, like, um, just... A little... They're like extremist or something. I might be wrong. We have a lore expert viewer who usually answers these kind of questions, so... so if, you, if, you're, if you're caught up on the lore of, can, of uh, factions, what is that about? Who are the Jade... What, what, are, what are the Jade Brotherhood and the Amfa? What are they all about? I think I've mentioned before, I like these fragility builds for Mesmer because it's really, it's really kind of idiot proof. You just, you just put them in, like, cast the spells in this order. It's like the only order they can possibly go in and then people just kind of drop. Alright, where are we at? Book deck byway. I think there are some elite skills here. I mean, we saw one warrior already. I think I think the problem is the the bosses kind of have random spawns. Oh, we gotta kind of get lucky if I'm not mistaken. I'm really excited for the next mission because I think we can get access to the mesmer or no, sorry, the assassin as well as the ritualists. I think. Oh, we've been here before. Are we going the right way? The assassin as well as the ritualist, and I'm I really want to get an assassin. An assassin um secondary. I think I need to go this way actually. I need to go like around this river and south. Probably why there's so many enemies here. The Cantha guards were fighting the afflicted and they just watched me go by. 
Like, what are you? What is that guy doing? Isn't he gonna help us? Sorry. I think I think I should be casting these. I'm casting them out of order. Yeah, I need to be inflicting deep wounds, so I should be casting them in this order. Fragility. Nice, that's going to be clumped up. Watch this. Oh, oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh, that was, that was beautiful. Oops. Oh, that was so good. Very, very satisfying. Oh, uh, no, no. Oh, this bridge. Yeah, so Image of Remorse is kind of like the same skill as Clumsiness, but it's cheaper. It does less damage, but you also get that, um... You also get that minus three health degeneration, so... I feel like... I feel like they kind of even out. Except... Clum no, Clumsiness is better. It has an AoE. So you you get more bang for your buck there. Still, images of remorse. It's a nice mixture of uh, anti attackers and health degeneration pressure. Mesmer got lots of love, and we're lost. Great. Mesmer got lots of love in factions. It seems. How do I get down there? Oh, <laughs> all right. Let me fast forward this really quick. I need to go back. I need to backtrack. All right. I'm pretty sure this is the way I go. It's really easy to get lost here. It seems like I could have just gone through Vizuna Square then. Why did we take Shadow's Passage? Meet them in, so in Shadow's Passage. And seek out Nika and Bukdek by way. So that's where we are now. There's a there's a mess there's for sure a mesmer up here. I also don't really want to capture this spell either because I I'm guaranteeing expel hexes. I'm guaranteeing not gonna use that. I don't think. I don't think there's any reason for me to use it. Especially as the player, maybe on a hero or something you might put that on, but that's a pre elite skill. Is a precious skill slot and to use it for just hex removal seems a little a little over cautious there's plenty of hex removals out there like shatter hex for example that's pretty strong be nice to get um a green to drop from this person though jadeite shard oh we we aggroed a little too much nice yeah, nothing. All right, let's just take a look at it. Just make sure. Oh, the, Dan's got both of these uh, signets. The signets are nice to use for the Keystone signet build. I do need to try that out eventually. We have this Keystone signet. It turns all of your signets into um, uh, that target other that target enemies. It turns them into an interrupt and. Uh, damaging ability so it makes you totally energy 
you know, non-dependent. Pretty fun build. Uh, we, we'll do that eventually. Expel hexes, elite skill, remove up to two hexes from target ally. I guess the cool thing about it is it's no attribute. I guess that's cool. So if I was running like a Mesmer Monk or something, I just can't, I can't see getting rid of an elite skill for that. I'm not picking it up. Can't make me. Not going to do it. You know, even like in Magic the Gathering, there are some rare cards, and just because it's considered, just because it's a rare, doesn't guarantee, or like a legendary or whatever, it doesn't guarantee that it's great. Probably has some really niche, niche um, place in certain certain decks. I like the I like to make the comparison of this game and Magic the Gathering. I just think it's very applicable oh we're getting kind of nuked here maybe only one bringing only one healer was a mistake but i'm pretty sure theo yeah she's got like soothing memories yeah she's a healer as well vengeful weapon okay there's nika i'm not crazy this is the right way Make sure our energy is up. All right. Who should I be targeting? I want to... I'm going after, like, the AoE people. The... the yeah, okay. Panaku Panaku is... Just spiking these people down. Good. Oh, we got a fan. Wow, shout out in game. Thank you, thank you. Get your hands off me. Hong Mong. You are unfit to touch me. Nika is pretty legendary, um, iconic character in factions. If I'm not mistaken, isn't she the person who, who, um, didn't she like assassinate Shiro originally? Am I crazy? I remember like in the original trailer for factions or something, they showed something like that. Ooh, we got a, got a skill point. What is going on? What, where did all these people come from? And it, why is she not helping us? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, maybe I should find a, there's no, there's no, um. Oof. Can you guys get out of the nuke? Like, please? Okay, there's a there's an enchantment I can just enchant. Okay. I don't. The problem is I don't have a um. I don't have a resurrection skill. That was rough. I wasn't paying attention to the mini map. I guess we just aggroed like thirty people while we were talking to Nika. That's kind of a really. Like, why did they put an NPC, mandatory NPC, that you need to have an important conversation with, surrounded by enemies that will patrol and take you out? Like, I don't even know what she's talking about. <laughs> what was she saying? Um, we should just go. The Obsidian Flame will get what's coming to them. So those off-duty guards were, like, harassing Nika. She kind of brought us into it. I see. Hmm. And then I picked up a 
quest from her. Or I completed a quest, and she's about to give us a new quest. And we were rudely interrupted. Luckily, this is not a mission. So... We get respawned. We can come back on. We don't need to restart. Thanks for nothing, Nika. Could have helped out. But yeah, I'm pretty sure she's a pretty important NPC in the game. So my old master believes you are ready to become closer to the stars, does he? He might think you're very skilled to suggest this. He must think you're very skilled to suggest something. Okay. So she's going to lead us uh, to Fishmonger Bizun in Wajun Bazaar. Can direct you to him. Tell Bizun. Bizun that Nika sent you. Okay. Oh, we get some skill points. Always good. Thanks. All right. Most, usually, people who started in factions, they would already have the Wajun Bazaar um, outpost. But we are not from factions, so we have to come this way. Ooh, an assassin elite skill. A oh, palm strike. That's a good one. Oh my gosh, that damage. Let's let's get rid of his enchantment. Yeah. They cat the elementalist cast that like dragon, double dragon skill, and it does loads of damage. But it's an enchantment, and we can remove enchantments. Please. Could have brought. I think mantra of flame would have been better than <laughs> epidemic. <laughs> Uh, Epidemic is just burning a hole in our skill bar. Alright, alright. These Jade Brotherhood are way harder than Ampha, it seems. Take out the mage first. Yeah, they cast it on the, the knight, and it just... He just wrecks havoc on our back line which is pretty much our whole party is back line there we go like a ranger that has that has some traps actually would be pretty useful in these areas i think because these are like narrow corridors that enemies would have to go through so if i were playing a ranger build a ranger character i would definitely be dropping some traps here to counter those knight that just kind of run in. So Amfa and Jade Brotherhood together here. I think they fight each other, right? They hate each other. Disenchant that guy. So much damage. Disenchant him. Okay. Jeez. Alright, how do we get down there? We're going a really weird way, I think. Again, most people would just fast travel there, but we have to we have to walk there. We are we're foreigners in strange land. Ooh. <laughs> Gold rune or superior rune droppage. Let's see what it's got. Yeah, I'm I'm really bad about this. There's a war. There's a war going on. My teammates are just getting obliterated, and I have to check out the loot. I just can't wait. Um, it's really bad. Yeah, that's a really bad. What? 
What is all this? Two gold drops right in the same mob group? Oh my gosh. Okay, let me get rid of some stuff. Oh. Oh, that's also not that great, I don't think. Uh, what was the other one? We got a we got a minor rune drop, I think. Okay. V Vite is a pretty valuable one. Also, I I remember I got this book. I need to turn this in. It's completed. That could solve my money problems. I think I get like 5k or something for turning it in. Where are we going? I mean, we did get some good drops there, but I am going the absolute like worst way, I think. Just identify this stuff. My inventory is getting overcrowded. Wait for the double dragon. Oh, no double dragon. Oh, there's no, there's no elementalist. So oh, I'm seeing the problem with this area. It really counters my henchmen because, oh, it's a boss. There's so many AOE enemies. Darn. They're just spam clumsiness on this guy. Like these, these axe guys, they have triple sh triple shop, which is basically an elite like cyclone axe. My teammates are all grouped up, getting heads lopped off left and right. All right, we can go this way. Mesmer, mesmer, mage. That's who we're taking out first. Oh, they're clumped up. Get him! Get him! Get him! No, I, I got interrupted to hardcore. Oh, he... No, thank you. Okay. Yeah, you gotta take out... You need some enchantment removal for sure. Okay. Make some room. Just put this putrid cyst in my backpack. That is disgusting. Henchmen are probably looking at me, grabbing a putrid cyst off the ground. Um, are you gonna keep that? <laughs> so gross. Yeah, there's some little mini quests here. Take a look at this one. I think they're not bad for picking up because they give, yeah, they give gold and a lot of experience. They're pretty much meant for factions characters that rush. If you if you're a factions character and you rush, um, if you rush to the mainland too soon, you you could be really under leveled. So those, the factions quests just give you loads of experience. I mean, in prophecies. A quest that gives a thousand experience was really rare. Most prophecies quests only give like 500 experience. But I don't know which one I prefer because the cool thing about prophecies is you get skills. You get skills for free. I really, I wonder why maybe it was too complicated for them to, with all the extra professions, like put skill quest givers in the game. But I, I really I really wonder why they didn't do that in factions. There's there's really not many quests that gives any skill unlocks. Kind of annoying. This is the first collector that I've seen. Some armor. Phantom hose. I heard the can I heard the hose and cantha are really nice. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Fun. It's fun people. They just 
aggroed two separate groups, but Amfa, we're not scared of Amfa actually. They deal in like ambush tactics with X's and conditions and stuff. The Jade Brotherhood are really annoying. Come on, Panaku, get in the fight. <laughs> He's like limping over there. They're all. The problem with these guys is they're all spread out. So they made the, they made the AI a little bit smarter. I guess what I should do is trigger the next the next um ambush or whatever I trigger. I should immediately back up and then let the enemy AI like group them clump them together. I'm gonna do that. Any more drop. I'm just going to immediately back up. Let them clump up and then nuke them. Sunzu, Nakai. You do not need your money, so I'm here to pay you back. Sounds like a loan shark. 150 gold? What are we interrupting here? Sometimes, like, after these conversations, quests could pop up, so... Perhaps. Not possibly charge such an obscene fee. Okay, he's threatening. I'll come up with the gold. No? All right, that would be like the perfect. Oh, he's trying to run away. That would be the perfect chance to give us like a quest or something. I guess it's just trying to show us that this city is full of criminals, right? No quests. No. Where are we going? Oh, I don't even have it. I didn't have the quest up. Oh gosh. I think we can go this way though. Not a big deal. He went a little off course. All right, dead end. Oh my gosh, this this city. Yeah, I see. We need to go up there and around there. All right, super speed mode. Start. Ambush. That's weird because we had just come through this area and there were no enemies, but they popped up the second time we came through. Developers really came up with some new tricks. All right, this is the way we go. Mages on um, fire together. Okay, let's back up. Back up. Uh, camp and peasant just got eight dust. So are they gonna fight? Why don't they fight each other? Oh my gosh! All right, we can we can nuke them now. Ooh. Oof, I got I got assassinated. Luckily, we have some lovely AoE skills. So I think I think they did damage each other actually. Unless we did a yeah, maybe Sin did a bunch of AoE damage or something. That was weird. I could have sworn the Amfa and Jade uh Brotherhood fight each other from time to time. Okay, marketplace. I think this is a uh, outpost.
It is. Oh, we lost some of our teammates. All right, get out of here, Epidemic. Instead of that, I want to grab Mantra of Flame. Please. All right, let's change our group. We're going to use Professor Guy and Healer this time. And we will use... Oh, we lost our Prophecies. Prophecies Henchman. Yeah, it wouldn't make sense because faction players come through here and suddenly there's Prophecies Henchmen. It would be very confusing. And let's bring... I think... The Shock... And... Yeah, we'll do that. Oh no, I need a... I need an assassin. Did I bring an assassin? Yeah, I did. Panaku. Okay. Uh, I guess we can sell some stuff. I'm gonna speed this up. Or, no, I'm just gonna... Do this action. Ah. Sell some of the stuff. Okay. Wajun Bazaar. And then we can turn... We can talk to this guy and figure out how to find the Oracle. them grouped up oh they don't oh who did we bring the necromancer the grave sue the grave henchman is a minion master that would be no that's nice but it might not be great because there's so many aoe nukers could be bad news oh the aoe went off oh yeah love it love to see it Gotta try and get them grouped up like that more often. Alright, yeah, I think the guy is very close. I don't remember if we just have to talk to him. I think we have to, like, defend him or something. I think he's gonna be under attack up here. Some people say that the water around here is good. Blah, blah, blah. Tell me where I can find the Oracle. Nika sent you. Thank the gods. You are just in time. The Jade Brother is returning at any moment now. Yeah. Defend Fishmonger Bison. Their armor is pretty cool. Oh, I was admiring his armor. Alright, luckily they were attacking me and not that dude. They defended you. Are there more enemies? Oh, yeah, there are. Get them while they're grouped up. Nice. Didn't interrupt me either. Nuked. These guys don't even drop max damage weapons.
Okay, I do not know anything about the Oracle of Mist that Nika could not have told you herself. Blah, blah, blah. Napoli Quarter. That's where we need to go. But he only sees those who he's already expecting. Even try pleading your case. The gatekeeper. Blah, blah, blah. Grateful. Drive up to the day, brother. All right. So now we need to go to... Uh, Loud Co. Coo. Loud Co. Whatever his name is. Wonder why he's so loud. He's gonna be talk. He's gonna be like his messages will be in all caps or something. We going the right way? Wow, we gotta go quite a ways now. All right, back up, back up, back up. I'm gonna do oh the minions just go in now that they spawn we get them grouped up perfect nuke them clumsiness on the assassins i think that healer needs to go go come on like stub your toe or something there we go <laughs> like had the lowest possible amount of health there but yeah i think that strategy is good once you see umfall drop down just back up a little bit and let them group up falls a lot of the problems right there whoa panaku's health Oh, he, he got, he set up, uh, he got, like, multiple traps. Yeah, these marksmen use, um, spike trap. I'm getting a lot of runes this run. Sometimes you can get lucky and get some, like, really good gold. There we go. Attunement, not bad, not bad. Alright, we don't have a chance to run away this time. They're right on top of us. There we go. They grouped up anyway. Oh yeah. Boom. Okay. Yeah, the spike traps really hurt. It's like bleeding and crippling and damaging. I always loved running traps as a ranger. Nice, they went after the minions. Going the right way. That's very zigzaggy. Ziggy zaggy. Collector. Putrid Sis Collector. Like, what are you doing with these, Lin Tao? What do you need with these... Putrid cysts. I'm like that's creepy. But he does look like an Amfa guy, so. Anthon gloves. No? I'm already maxed out, buddy. Are they patrolling this way? No, they're not. They're grouped up. Watch out, Panaku. There's gonna be traps there. Okay. He survived. Undercity, so that is a place we might need to go later. But I'm glad we're not worrying about that right now. Alright, there's several groups here. I don't want to... I think there's two groups here. I don't want to aggro all of them. I think we'd be okay, though, actually. Yeah, let's just do it. Try and burst these assassins down. That's where all their damage is. They assassinated Sister Ty.
Okay. Clumsiness is a very good spell for assassins. I like having the minions, gotta say. And they're vampiric minions, so they they make uh they give Stu some survivability. Take a lot of pressure off of healers, that's for sure. Oh, I remember this. They're like Stacked up on each other. Yeah, they can they inflict a lot of conditions like poison, cripple, uh, bleeding. Luckily, they're all grouped up. Watch this damage. Boom. They're done. You guys are done. I don't even... What's the point? Healers, though. Putting in some work. Oh, no. Oh, we're getting pincer attacked. Did I just run up there? No, we can do this. Don't give up. Back up a little bit. Good. Once the assassins drop, they just don't they don't really do enough damage to really take us out. And okay, now they're around the corner. These these marksmen oh no, those are necromancers. And yeah, they don't really do a lot of damage. It's just the assassins, really. Yeah, he's just been shooting his arrows into a wall, so... No problem there. That was really scary though, I'm not gonna lie. I was about to just make a run for it. Okay, I'm not even going to go pick that up. This, this marksman is just hanging out here. He's like, why can't I hit them? Yeah, the assassins use slashing blades, which is a really good skill for blocking and survivability, but doesn't really counter our team because we have so many casters. With the minion master, um, if you're a necromancer player, it'd be good to be running um, some like barbs or some of the orders that uh, enhance physical damage. Man, Canyon City is messed up. Like we're in the middle of a city and there's just these gigantic bug monsters. Like got a pest problem, got a gang violence problem. It's got a leg problem. I'm not going to do that. Okay, we are at Napui Quarter. I believe this is the mission that allows us to get uh, ascended from the factions campaign. But it, more importantly, it will uh, it should unlock our um, secondary professions. 
Yeah, okay, this is why he's loud. Um, he needs us to talk loudly, I guess. Okay, he's bad. He's deaf, I guess. Okay. Celestial Kirin. Eden is a sign that you are favored by the heavens. I was told to watch for just such a sign. Let me know when you are ready. And I will let you in to see the Oracle of the Mist. All right. And we'll take you to Napui Quarter. There you may attempt to become we no su see it sounds cooler in that language we no su i don't know what what language that's supposed to be in the canton language so let's do it is there a cutscene here sometimes they put cutscenes for yes there is I am the Oracle of the Mists. I was sent here to. I know why you have come here. You are not the first to speak my Really name. cool you armor. Be the last. What? What the do stars I? stars in the night sky cast their light down upon the. <laughs> this keeps Earth, interrupting me. Making physical replicas of themselves. Time will meet on the Kyrian, the embodiment of corruption. The being of pure good turned to pure evil. One sang the turtle dragon, the eternal paradox. Not one thing or another. A reminder that we will never fully understand the mists. I, she, the phoenix. The representation of fiery eternity awaiting those in the underworld. And finally, the mightiest of them all, cool. Tarmu the dragon, a constant reminder of atrocity, pain, and anguish. You must defeat the avatars of these four celestial bodies. If you wish to become closer to the stars, only then will you be able to see into the spirit realm and truly fight Shiro Tadachi. But how do I get to the avatars? <laughs> Step through it doesn't even let me talk. Portals, and you shall be transported to the location you desire. Choose wisely. If you should perish while among the Celestials, I will not come help you. Why not? I understand. I doubt that. One more question. Bother me no more with this. Tangle with the stars if you must, but you will waste no more of my time. Jeez. Guess, I guess if you can see the future, you'd be really impatient with people. You know, he knows everything, what is going to happen. Uh, so this is cool. He's got, these statues give you some information on each of the uh, celestial bodies that I'm about to assassinate. We can turn our quest in. 3,000 experience. Very cool. All right, so we're in Napui Quarter. We're going to do the mission next episode. This was a pretty good one. We uh, did a lot of exploration of Caning City. We got lost. We, um, yeah, figured out some good strategies to fight the Amfa and Jade Brotherhood. But yeah, we um, are going to be doing this next episode tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. I got a first shout out, shout out ever in the game. So thank you. Um, who was that? Alexander Frostfall. You know who you are. Shout out. Um, if you ever want to team up with me in game, send me a message and uh, we'll try and get that, get that uh, going. And you can appear in a video where dozens of people might see you. <laughs> anyway. Uh, have a good one. Uh, catch me, catch you on the next episode. Peace.